What is going on guys? Nifty Bacon back with Car Mechanic Simulator up to episode 34. And in today's episode, uh, we're going to actually finish the Trailer Park Boys car. Isn't that awesome? So I've been working on this for a while. I've been trying to keep uh, everything like at about 40-ish percent in the parts department. Maybe like 30-ish uh, percent. Uh, you know, some things are at 20, which is just brakes and stuff like that. But... If you guys haven't seen Trailer Park Boys, this is basically Ricky's car, and it's just like the absolute worst piece of junk of automobile ever, but it like runs all the time, and it's just hilarious. I love it. I love the show. It's just so funny uh, to watch for me. I just like dumb stuff like that, so I just sit back and watch uh, Trailer Park Boys and kind of binge watch sometimes, and things like that, so... <laughs> it's pretty good. It was like a TV show from Canada, so it's pretty uh, pretty cool, actually. And so what we were missing is, I just grabbed out of the uh, Bel Air, is the fuel pump. So that's all we're missing on this car. So it's pretty much complete. It's missing exhaust, but, you know, that's kind of part of the car and the character of it, right? And the door's missing, just like Ricky's. And we might need to get a new seat and everything. But let's get this thing started up. All right, we got it running. Yeah, let's go. That's awesome. Got dogs barking. They're all excited about the car running, that's for sure. Yeah. Actually, we need to get this into the paint shop and uh, finish up painting the, uh, the trunk there. Which I actually might just take it off and then paint the trunk itself. <laughs> that would be a lot easier. Dogs are getting all wacky and crazy over there. Okay. So, uh, let's need this black. That's pretty much the color of the car. I don't know if this is really going to matter, but... Let's just bring it down to zero. Okay, dogs, chill out. Relax. It's not a big deal. Chill. <laughs> They're just getting all crazy up in there. Alright. Okay. Oh, oh, he's still going. All right. Oh, bark, barking, barking some more. I guess we are missing a left fender. That's not a big deal, I guess. Maybe we just say you got hit or something. You know, that'll work. So let's uh, let's take this thing for a drive, actually. Now that we've got it all done, and it's kind of like a challenge I've been working on, so. Let's take it to... My name's Ricky, and I've been in here for about 18 months now. Dang it, I'm going through all these barns. Hang on a second, guys. There we go, racetrack. Take it to the racetrack. Oh, we're messing the exhaust pipes. All right, so I guess I technically need those. Well, I can put it in the dyno right now, right? Probably. Let's put, see what kind of power we're getting out of this 40% uh, part. Oh, okay, we need the exhaust for that too then. All right, fine. I get it, I get it. We need the exhaust, it's all right, that's cool. So I guess he'll just have a flashy exhaust in his car, which we're gonna have to actually bring it back to the lift because I need to put the exhaust on there. So we're just gonna go back and forth like this because I am just uh, not thinking right now at all. Just gonna do a short fun video because I'm back working again this week on Space Jam 2, so busy busy. And uh everything the weekend was nice, nice little break, but uh back at the grind and everything. Oh my gosh, I guess I have to get closer. Yeah, back at it, so uh I'm gonna be short videos again as we uh had before, so no biggie about that, we'll just keep it going. All right, so we should be good now. Oh, we need the rear muffler. <laughs> okay, so we need the whole exhaust system. It's just something I haven't messed with before. Like, I usually put the cars all the way completely back together. So I didn't, wasn't sure if we could still drive them even without exhaust parts or missing parts. Well, I guess you can start it, run it, and everything like that. It's just you can't do a dyno test without the uh, completed car.
I'll tell you one thing. Tonight, I am getting drunk at Julian's, and it's going to be awesome. You guys want to come tape it? That's fine. We'll just say that uh, Ricky found these really nice parts and stole them from somebody's car. We'll just go with that, so, because that's what he does. If you guys haven't seen the show, then that's kind of what happens, really. It's just a criminal steals parts to get his car running and stuff like that and lives out of his car so it's like this is his home and everything if you guys haven't seen the show what if you have seen the show you guys know exactly all about it so see what kind of power we got in our trailer park boy ricky car yeah come on big pile of crap <laughs> get it Ooh, we got 153 horsepower, 218 foot-pounds, loss of 40 and 37. That's cool. All right. That'll be the only car we ever do that with, like, the minus uh, percentage of power. <laughs> the only one we'll ever do, probably. That's pretty cool. Okay. Unless we do, like, a $5,000, $10,000 uh, junkyard challenge or something like that, or we can try to get it running with just a limited amount of money. Let's take it to the track. Oh yeah, listen to that baby purr. Oh, we got some uh, wobbly, wobbly suspension up in there. Yeah. Yeah. Get it, Ricky. Boy, that trunk's like way too nice on this car. <laughs> we might need to get the worst part for it. It's like way too nice, but they pretty much use the trunk to like hold stuff. So I guess the trunk would be in a really good shape. It's where they put all their drugs and, and stuff like that. So I'm probably going to get demonetized for the video. Because <laughs> I'm talking about drugs and using the word and everything. But I don't care. Whatever. We are going to get really drunk. It's going to be wicked. Hopefully there'll be a bit of dope around too. Julian can frig off if that's what he's telling you. Because it's not my fault. It's Julian's fault. We not a big deal at all. We're just having a fun Trailer Park Boys episode. So let's always talk about that. You know, Ricky just grows weed and stuff. And that's what he does in the show. And if you guys haven't seen it, definitely check that out, man. Some of you might like it. Some of you might think it's just stupid. But, you know, I kind of like dumb stuff like that. All kinds of crazy cliches. Just like white trash, Trailer Park kind of stuff. <laughs> pretty funny got all, a lot of dynamic characters and stuff in there and, oh we're getting 70 75 76 78 and 80 man this car is running like a tap <laughs> that's what ricky says not like a top he says it's running like a tap and you're like oh my gosh you're so stupid yeah he's pretty much dumb because of all the weed he smokes and drugs and whatnot so let's head back to the garage shall we so we had some fun there that's my best friend julian yeah what's up what are you doing that's pretty much our trailer park boys car right there so we'll uh, de uh definitely maybe i'll find another front fender for our because it actually has one and then maybe a seat or something but at least we got it running and moving and all that kind of stuff so it's worth uh 14 or 17 thousand i don't know where i got the 14 from and uh, 153 horsepower, 218 foot-pounds. So yeah, pretty sweet, man. It's our Trailer Park Boys car, the most worst, most worst, I don't know why I said that, but uh, yeah, the worst car pretty much that we're gonna build or ever complete in our Car Mechanic Simulator series. So it's a one of a kind, rare episode. If you guys like the video definitely leave a like definitely subscribe don't forget to hit the bell and get notified when my videos are up midnight every day don't forget to check the description my new merch and check out patreon and paypal see you guys in the next video